Hello everyone. Uh, today is April the 19th of 2020. Um, I just want to start by giving Father Yahuwah all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Yahushua HaMashiach, our Messiah, and to the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, for giving wisdom and knowledge and understanding um, in this late hour, in the last days. And I just pray that um, Father Yahuwah will continue to cover us with his glory, with his protection day by day as we watch things unfold. And I plead the blood of Christ over all of our minds, body, spirits, and our hearts as we um, as we just continue to watch things come to fruition. And it's in Yahushua HaMashiach's holy name I pray and give glory to the Father in heaven. Amen. So if you, if you are new to this channel, um, I just want to pray that um, you take all things to the Most High Father. And if there's anything that um, that you may be or get you may be confused about or get confused about, I pray that you take it to the Father in heaven for understanding. Um, I'm just quickly going to share this dream that I was granted on April the 18th of 2020. And so in the dream, uh, throughout this dream, a woman was showing me and telling me what was about to take place or what is being done behind the scenes. And the woman is representation of the Ruach HaKodesh. Um, you can read about that in Proverbs 8, um, Proverbs 1, really throughout the book of Proverbs, but uh, even in Genesis where father says he and, you know, male and female created he in his image. So, uh, like I said, if there's anything that uh, that you are confused about or you don't understand or that you question, please take it to the most high father directly because he he will give you understanding. But the Ruach HaKodesh was um, it, the, the woman was symbolic for Ruach HaKodesh. So anyway, in, in this dream, she was explaining to me what was happening. Um, she sh was showing me that the elites, the government uh, officials were preparing their bodies um, to, they were preparing their bodies for war and for famine. And by doing so, they were eating um, MREs, which is the military grade packet food. You know, what they take or what people take on camping trips is those packets of food. They were eating those in preparation for the famine and the war because uh, they were trying to condition themselves to not uh, to not, I guess, take in the, you know, norm, normal food, like regular food that we eat daily on a daily basis because they knew that the famine was coming and they were trying to, you know, prepare and be ahead of us and. Also, uh, I was specifically shown President Barack Obama. He was uh, preparing as well. And while I was seeing him at the same time, I was being shown this particular image like this. It was a military gray backpack out in the middle of desert sand and it was opened. So that was confirmation of war. And I was also told in the dream like it was given to me in the dream that they were for preparing for war against the people. Now, I just want to show you something because, uh, you know, those of us who know where we are in prophecy and understand what's happening right now, we already know that there, we are we are already in a war. We've been in a war spiritually since we've been on this earth. But right now with the virus and everything that's going on, we know that this is biological biological warfare and what father has been given to his servants and his, and his children is that war, physical war is about to take place. And I just went to Google. I just wanted to put this here. You know, I know everybody knows what war is, but I just typed in war against, you know, what is war between the government and the people. And guess what popped up? Civil war, which is, you know, huge confirmation because we already know that, uh, most have been given dreams and visions about civil unrest. And we have to see that coming because they have us on lockdown right now, right? They have us on lockdown. Eventually, you know, people's money is going to run out. The food and what they have is going to run out. And people are going to get tired of staying in their homes. And this is, gonna, this is where the upheaval and the chaos is going to come from. You know, I'm not saying that's the only way it's going to come, but people are going to get tired and they're going to begin to act out and and we already know you know they already have the the national guard in the army they have all these people set in place they're already set in place 
because they know what is going to, you know, the government, they already, they are, the plans are being rolled out. And so father has given understanding to many that the seals of revelation six are being opened first. Um, you know, the first seal in revelation six was the one that went forth conquering and to conquer was given the crown, the Corona. It was this virus that started it. The second seal is now being opened, which is war. And I'm going to read that really quickly. And I have another scripture to share with you. Um, I want to show you something. That, and it's, uh, I, as I was searching the scriptures, as far as uh, scriptures about civil war, I found the scripture in Isaiah 19 and 2 through 4. So let me read Revelation 6, starting at verse 3. And it says, and when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, come and see. And there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. So that's the confirmation about the second seal in the war. But if you go over to um, Isaiah 19 verses two through four, now I know it says the Egyptians, but um we know that the land of Egypt was a place of captivity, the land of captivity. And many are in spiritual captivity because they're blinded and they can't see what's happening right now. They don't understand. Um, a lot of people are just spiritually blind. So, so many are in bondage spiritually and in captivity. But I just want to read this scripture and I'm going to show you from another version as well. This is the King James version, but it says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. And I will destroy the council thereof and they shall seek to idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards and the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel Lord and a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Now, this right here is from the Good News Bible. I just want to show this and then I'm going to end the video. Um, it says, I will stir up civil war in Egypt. <laughs> and it it go. You can go ahead and read the rest of it if you want to. But I just down in verse four it says, I will hand the Egyptians over to a tyrant, to a cruel king who will rule over them. I, the Lord Almighty, have spoken. Now, we know that all of this that is taking place right now is uh, the beast system rising. And this is ushering in the revealing of the Antichrist, that tyrant king, that cruel leader. So I just thought that was interesting and I wanted to share it here because it just confirms the dream and the message of war. Um, I just pray for um, each and every person out there. I pray that if anybody is listening to this and you don't know Christ Yahushua personally, I pray that you uh, get on bent knee and you repent of your sins and that you would uh, cry out to him and, and, and ask him to... Um, to remove all things from your 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 life, your heart, and let him change you and, and you be filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, I pray that we all, whether you know, those of us who have a personal relationship and those who are striving to, those who need it, I pray that we are constantly coming to I pray that we are in a place of repentance daily, staying before Father in repentance. Because he is searching our hearts and, and we want to be counted worthy to escape the wrath and judgment of the Most High Father. He's going to he's going to be with us, but we must humble ourselves and, and stay before him and and always ask for forgiveness. Um, that's all I have for you. And I pray that you all are blessed. And until next time.